Wegener offers a full line of hand welders with a model to meet any application and all of our equipment meets or exceeds the guidelines established by the German Welding Society DVS. While our Autotherm, Duratherm and WEG7 models each offer unique features, the actual welding process is the same with all models. Before you begin, check the welding rod and material for compatibility by welding a small section of rod to the material. Once cooled, it should remain secured when pulled as shown. If you can pull the rod off the material, they are not compatible. Recommended rod sizes can be found in the Wegener Guidelines Manual included with your hand welder. Another critical point to observe is the use of a clean air source. Wegener's blowers offer a clean, filtered air supply that maintains a consistent volume of airflow at all times. The importance of clean, consistent air volume cannot be overemphasized when it comes to reliable welds. In this demonstration, we're using the Autotherm hand welder and the DT2 blower. The Wegener Autotherm welder is the most temperature accurate model on the market. The Wegener model DT2 blower allows for the use of two guns simultaneously and offers a top-mounted duplex outlet as a convenient power source for your guns. The DT2 is a heavy-duty model and is virtually maintenance-free, requiring only an occasional filter change to keep the unit running in top form. Next, be sure to have Wegener's full line of accessories handy, such as our tip cleaning brush, scraper, and temperature gauge. First, select the appropriate tip size. We're using the Wegener combination tip, which provides both tacking and high-speed welding functions without having to change tips. Next, slip the gun's hose onto the blower's brass fitting and tighten the clamp as shown. Plug the blower into an electrical outlet and set both airflow meters to between 45 and 65 LPM. Be sure to set both meters, regardless of whether you're using one or two guns. Next, plug the gun into the blower's outlet. Note that the LED on the back of the gun glows solid red. Solid red means that the gun is heating up. A red-green blinking LED indicates that the gun is at the desired set temperature, and solid green means that the gun is cooling down. Refer to Wegener's guidelines in the manual for proper temperature settings based on the material you are welding. While you should avoid touching any part of the unit except for the handle, the unit's double barrel construction serves to insulate and keep the barrel portion cooler than the tip. Never allow your skin to come in contact with the tip until it is fully cooled. The best way to hold the welding gun is similar to holding a chisel. This is the most ergonomic way to weld while applying the proper pressure to your weld. The recommended pressures are listed in the Wegener manual. If you are not sure of how much pressure to apply while welding, simply place the tip of a cool gun on a scale and apply pressure until the desired force is reached. Now scrape the edges of the material to provide a smooth fit. The first weld process is tacking. Flip the tacking tip to the front. Allow it to heat up for 30 seconds and with slight pressure, move it along the area to be welded. In general, both sides should be tack welded to provide even distribution of heat and to keep warping to a minimum. Tacking does not add any strength. Should a piece be misaligned, a tack weld is easy to break apart, while a filler weld would have to be removed mechanically. After tacking, flip the tacking tip to the back in order to use the high speed tip. Check the welding rod chamber of the high speed tip for impurities. If necessary, clean with the tip cleaning brush. Scrape the tack weld to eliminate any oxidation caused by the tacking process. You are now ready to weld. Cut a length of welding rod at an angle so you can get a good smooth start as it moves across your material. Next, scrape your welding rod to remove any impurities. Grinding a small notch in the scraper speeds up the scraping process. The start of the weld is critical. You must simultaneously heat up the end of the rod as well as the base material. Go back and forth a couple of times as shown. Now start the welding process using your free hand to guide the welding rod smoothly through the tip to prevent the welding rod from stretching. Apply the correct pressure consistently while welding at a constant speed. Make sure that the base of the tip is parallel to the weld and that the welder is at the correct angle based upon your weld configuration. In this application, the welder is at a 45 degree angle. It is essential that you keep pressure on the welder until the very end. Repeat this procedure on the opposite side. 
Alternate this procedure from side to side until the proper number of beads has been applied as described in the Wegener guidelines. For the best quality weld, it is imperative to scrape the weld area just prior to laying down a new bead. Some visual inspection will help to evaluate the quality of the weld. An even haze line should be visible right next to the entire weld area. There should be no sign of splashing and a small ridge should be noticeable at the edge. When finished, unplug the gun and allow the heating element to cool down for a few minutes before turning off the blower. Thank you for purchasing a Wegener product. Much time has been spent designing, testing, refining, retesting, and then assembling the precision manufactured tool you've just acquired. With proper care, your Wegener hand welder will provide you with years of reliable service.